Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folia. We are jumping in again. We've been on a deleted streak recently. We are going to continue that. And by streak, I mean dying repeatedly as him because I'm terrible at this game. Um, just recently, I've not been playing much because I've got back from holiday. So I've just been bad at the game. So we're going to play as the Zip Bomber. We've started with 13 bombs for some reason. I think just the Zip Bomber starts with 13 bombs. Okay. Um, no corrupted items use extract to reroll any item while adding a negative effect to it. Okay, kind of decent. It's kind of interesting. Ram's head is totally one that we'll take off the bat. We did have a, a door mimic here, but it's disappeared. Not quite sure where it went, but uh, I probably should have cracked into it early on rather than later. But Ram's head right off the bat is pretty insane. Ram's head is a Ram's head is a very very good item. Pretty akin to getting like Cricket's head. Um, it's one of those items that pretty much whenever you see it, you're going to be very, very happy. Um, from the Something Wicked pack. So good to see it and early on really good. But yeah, so we're probably not going to get a ton of um, of negative effects going this time. Because it's only when we want to re-roll things. But we'll get a few here and there. I apologize if you, if you just heard that horrendous burp. Okay, we can only have 13 bombs, weirdly enough. Uh, that is uh, that is strange, but hey ho, it is what it is. We'll try and find our secret room, uh, just because of the fact that we have so many bombs. For the question of the day today, what is something that you should be trying to do more of? What is something that you consider something that you should be um, trying to do more of in your life? Whether it's eating differently, different, speaking to people more regularly, doing certain things, like anything. Um, what's something that you reckon you should be doing more of? <clears throat> I've, for me, mine's kind of a tough one to really say for sure. Um, I've been, um, like, in my job, I've kind of been, like, pseudo-promoted because some stuff went down at work, some change in, in management roles and stuff like that, so I'm kind of been, like, oh, I just can't pick this up at all. Interesting. That's weird. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been kind of trying to sort of step up at least a little bit, so... For me, it's just trying to uh, trying to sort of focus a little bit more on work recently and trying to step up a little bit just while it's uh, while it's needed. Um, I, it's, it's, not, it's not that I wasn't already trying at my job; I definitely was. But I think the the call to action for it is is a bit more necessary now. Um, I think I'm gonna take this, although I'm really not sure how my bomb situation currently is working. So. I'm guessing when I go to next floor, I just get more bombs or something. No? I really don't know how, how exactly my situation with bombs and stuff is going to work. <gasps> we found a giant pot. Hell yes. And I also took damage there. Heck. Okay. Giant pot. Save me. I love these giant props. Don't go... I guarantee that when I pick this up, it goes straight over the spikes. And from it, we get the... Yeah, you go right over the spikes. Look, look at that. Beautiful. Bursting sack. Decent enough. I probably should have re-rolled that, thinking about it, honestly. Um, but at least these guys are uh, friendly now. I do have to be careful, because my health is, um, is looking pretty rough now. I made mistakes. Mistakes have been made. But one health isn't all so bad. It isn't all so bad. We can... We can deal with one HP and be fine. As long as there isn't too many champions, then I think we're we're fine. I I just is is too many champions or it's enemies that I don't understand very well. Which honestly, obviously in Fiend Folio is pretty pretty big concern. There's plenty of plenty of enemies that I don't understand very well. Also, why does it look like my guy has his hands in his pockets? My character looks like he's got his little hands and his stubby little hands in his pockets. I like that. So yeah, it feels like this character we're gonna have a fairly regular run until we want to start taking risks. So basically, items that are strictly bad for us or are gonna give us very little benefit are ones that I'm gonna take. But like bursting sack still has good value. Okay, that was that was close. I love the redesign of those enemies. Really cool. Still can't pick up any bombs. I'm very curious as to why that is. Maybe I have to use... Okay, using Extract blew that bomb up. Weirdly enough. Which is kind of lucky because I, I didn't know it did that. And there was a 
strong possibility I could have accidentally killed myself via that. Um, okay. So, yeah, if I extract it, it blows them up. Which is weird. I did get a heart there, which is pretty necessary for me. I'm going to try and find my shop. So, I get a certain amount of placeable bombs, but I'm guessing the rest of my bombs I have to use via room drops, which is weird and not really something that I saw in the cards for this character. But certainly an interesting little gimmick, I suppose. It seems like everything else does does seem to be... Uh, I do seem to be just able to pick them up as normal. Doesn't seem to have be, be having any trouble with that. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of an oddity, so to say, but nothing we can't handle. This should be a pretty easy room because I think we can stay at a distance far enough away to where these guys won't even bother shooting us, and we have the damage to kill them reasonably quickly. Yeah. So yeah, like a situation like this, I can't pick them up at all, but I can do that. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. I I like it, but I I don't really know what to think about it. It's it seems. It just seems like a curious little quirk of the character. So we don't really want to be using bombs. I do wonder if I can utilize this to push out that golden penny. Ah, oh, it, it literally was only worth one more cent anyways, so hey her. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. All I want to kill really is these chaser dudes because they, they can be very problematic. This is good. Take out you first. Oh, hell. I didn't realize you were a reforming boy. Oh, you're going to be kind of tricky. Okay, no, we got you. We got you. Let's take this out. Slightly tricky room there. Both item room and um, shop are still at large. Yeah, we've already used quite a lot of our bombs here, but honestly, all of them were for a pretty good cause, especially Giant Pot. I love the fact that they exist. I've still not found any of the other Giant Props that are available yet. Okay, that guy's a champion. We need to somewhat focus on him. Oh, God. Don't die again. I've been dying a lot recently, and it's kind of demoralizing. <laughs> okay. Th this is very good. Um, I don't particularly know the best way to go about doing this. I'm not going to take a risk here and I'm going to bomb through. This gives us unlimited bombs, which is very, very necessary right now. It also gives us a fantastic way to deal high DPS to bosses, which I really, really like. Okay, you're going to jump into that fire there. Good for you. Okay, soul heart, please. No soul heart. Converts pickups into burn orbital spawns. One burn orbital on use. Unfortunately, not what we're looking for. I will take the pill, and I guess I can use this now to re-roll. We'd lose 21 bombs. Oh! I can re-roll whenever I want. Does it cost a bomb? I don't think it does, no. Okay, I can re-roll as many times as I want, but each re-roll adds an additional negative effect. That is something that I was not sure about, and I'm very happy to see is the case. Because basically, as long as we don't get a too terrible a negative effect first time round, we can keep going. So, even if this run doesn't work out, we've got a next one we can try it out on. Uh, I am eating some grapes right now. I feel opulent. It's lovely. I love grapes. They're the best. Right, let's throw... Yeah, that was fantastic. Not only did he stay in the poison there, but he did a ton of damage on his own. This is a great one to start re-rolling. Spawn five rounds of monsters. No, thank you. Okay, this is a... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Ah. Uh, sir. Sir. Something I keep forgetting over and over and over again as this character. We'll restart here. Something I keep forgetting. Random monsters includes monsters from every fucking floor. Whenever I see it say random monster, I'm always like, ah, that's chill. That's chill. It'll just be some random like spiders or flaming horfs or whatever. No, no, no. It means random monsters 
from any floor in the game. And I just got incredibly unlucky in the fact that it gave me a bunch of really tough ones and ones that lock me in place. Oh, God. I'm a goober. I'm a big, fat goober. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. Um, so this is Swarm, right? Swarm's pretty good. I quite like Swarm. Also, our character is looking great right now. I like the uh, the the visual with Swarm. And we've got a, a treasure um, disc here, which I'll use for my boss fight. Ooh, I love the new version of this uh, this boss. So good, so interesting. You got a luck upgrade out of it as well. I still don't really get the idea of not being able to pick up bombs, but as I said, we'll just live with it. It is what it is. Yeah, I will. I will do both of these. It was already worthwhile. An extra key helps as well. Oh, and look. A little zip bomb, a little fella. I like it. But what are these dudes? These dudes are kind of spooky. What the hell do you do? Whoa! I've definitely seen this enemy before, but I don't remember it very well. Pretty cool looking. Check our shop real quick. I genuinely can't tell what either of these are. I think we've got nine volt and the compass. No, beginner's luck. Okay, this is this is good. I'm glad I took that one. Um, beginner's luck is going to give us uh, a luck upgrade that degrades over time. We still don't have that crazy good start that we had last time, but money wise, pretty darn good. Right, but we can take this bomb here and use extract to de extract detonates anything, not just bombs. That is news to me. That is certainly news to me. Okay. This is making a little more sense now, but yeah, that's kind of curious. Uh, we got some good stuff there. We got almond milk plus um Sinus Infection, which seems like a pretty good combination for a boss fight. Right, you're dead. Oh, you you didn't die. Okay. And then we've got Divorce Papers here, which I'll certainly take. So, S Extract can be used for a few additional purposes here, which I kind of like the idea of. We can detonate... Seemingly anything in the room that's droppable. I like that idea. That could lead to some interesting players. I'll keep that in mind. We got Lawn Darts here, which is a very good thing that I believe scales with luck. We also got another treasure disc. Lawn Darts should be pretty decent. We'll, of course, lose uh, Sinus Infection and everything soon, but being able to hemorrhage enemies is pretty nice. It's a slightly laggy item, but I'm not going to hold that against it. You're going to die? There you go. We're going to get our free trial expired pretty soon. We got another giant pot. What the heck? That's the second one we found in just as many. That's crazy. They're, they're so rare. These are so, so rare. So, what we could technically do here is use extract to, there you go. Blow some stuff up. I I am doing a bad job of this. Just ignore everything you've seen so far. I took so much health off of myself there. Um let's let's use extracts on that. Nine flesh maidens. They are not the enemies I thought they were. It's okay. These guys will hit me, but it won't be that bad. It, it was pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at this game. Holy. Holy sad. I'm not good at this game anymore. Like, I, I will admit, the bombing myself multiple times was just me being an absolute idiot. Nothing more. 
I just, I don't know why, but I kept thinking the explosion radius wouldn't be that big or it would select an item further away from me first. Nah. Extract don't give a damn. See, I don't know how useful that is. I think, I think there's some shenanigans we can do with it, but I don't think it's overly great. How the hell are you still alive, little fella? Dude, calm it, boy. Okay, hello. The hemorrhaging's definitely being useful right now. I think we could do with a bit more HP. Got a crawl space there. That's not HP, but thank you. We're going to have all the keys here. Burger bombs here. This is tricky because we have to just take it then run. I'm going to take it just because it gives us plus bombs. That's a pretty, a pretty cool idea for a room though. I like that. I think I probably should have two of them, so it's a little bit harder, but I'm not going to make it harder on myself. Yeah, as, as well, the fact that we're taking so much damage when we have Swarm is just embarrassing. <laughs> we did get a Soul of Isaac, which I very much like. We might as well pop the treasure disc now. Um... We lose a lot of money and a bit of damage, but we gain Broken Murdom. I'll honestly take that. Broken Murdom is so good. We lose a lot of money for that, but Broken Murdom is just so good. It could save our life. Anyhow, after all that shenanigans, let's kill you instantly. Check out what we get this time around. While held counts as one item towards the book where... Book Thingy transformation. I'm not going to go in there. Yeah, things things aren't probably going to go too well for me from here on out. I'm probably going to get yet another death. But feel free to have a big old fat shout at me for playing like an idiot. I'll allow it because I am playing like an idiot. Like real bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty terrible right now. I do want that chest, but there ain't no way I'm going over there. Especially with Broken Murder, I'm having the ability to hold tears in the air. That just seems terrible. Free trials expired. I love the way these dolphins can dive through the, the, uh, the gaps there. I didn't know they could do that. I've probably seen them do it before, but I don't remember. Um, but da da da. Yes, I'll do this. I'm not a particular fan of these crabs, I'll be honest. I, I, I constantly forget how they work. I think they're cool enemies, but my brain doesn't like them. Yeah, regain some of that lost, lost Kachone. And by that, I mean money. Also, I don't know if you noticed there, but I got hit by a dip that had um, worked his way into my inner circle. I killed myself with Extract. My goodness, I'm playing like such ass recently. I, I don't know why, but my, my brain just has this inner thing of saying, hey, when you use extract, it'll blow up the furthest thing away from you or the item that you're looking at. And I don't consider to look at what's nearest to me at all. Um, and it's it's getting me hurt a lot. I'm just going to not use extract to blow things up from now on. Apart from now. Yeah, I'm just going to stop doing it because it's just a terrible idea. Um, especially in the heat of combat, which I know is like basically its only use case. You fucking just restart me. Just, just, oh, god damn. Oh my lord, I'm... <sighs> I'm having a mental breakdown, I promise you I am. This is... Oh. Some of the worst Isaac play to ever show up on this on this earth. I'm gonna have to take that, because I just need the HP. Are you kidding me? I still got hit there. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. 
I keep getting hit by bullshit. It's not bullshit, it's just me playing bad. That's literally all it comes down to. I cannot blame anything but myself, but I don't know, my brain just ain't working. I think the deleted is like corrupting, corrupting my uh, my brain cells. Look at that. What kind of dodge was that, Turtle Melon? You absolute doofus. What human being would ever make that dodge and think it's sensible? Dumb. Big dumb. Yeah, some the corrupted is rotting my brain. My brain cells. Are, why would I do that? No. Restart me. Bring me back to a time when I had an actual single brain cell, please. I'm just walking into things. I don't get it. I would like a book as well, please, here, if you uh, if you got one going for me. That would be rather nice. I, I'm, I'm really going to focus up this time round. Let's actually try and play a little bit better here. Because it is, it's whatever's going on. It's bad. All right, let's move away from these before they hurt me. Maybe it's the grapes. The grapes are rotting my brain away. No key thus far. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that those guys, like, did that hurty hand thing whenever they accidentally slapped a wall. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. I like that. A cute little addition. I did accidentally just spit a bit of a grape at my screen there. I don't know where that went. Whoops. Oh, God. My heart. My poor little heart. I can't take this stress. I've just been on holiday. I'm meant to be relaxed. Yeah. Slow it down. Slow it right down. Cube boys are big threats because I don't know how they work. Got whatever item we want here. We did get a key as well. I will take that early on. Because that could help out a lot. Right. Bookstore. Only two books. Um, doubles all trinkets, converts any trinkets to golden ones. And we've also got bonus 20% chance for a library to spawn on floor entry. Teleports the player to a library on use. Um... Twenty percent. Is this just a book that is there simply to get bookworm? Also, using that crashed my game. Oh, today hurts. Today hurts. This has been some of the worst Isaac episodes I've ever recorded. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you guys are at least enjoying them. Please let me know because, yeah, something's going on. I can't cope. I can't do it. I'm rebooting the game now. I apologize for the black screen. It'll be over momentarily. If the game decides to ever boot, come on now. There you go. Holy. It just double crashed. You gotta be kidding me oh no okay bring it right back god damn it i hope y'all like the first floor because that's all we get to play at the moment not an item i'm interested in that i will 100 percent take i lost a lot of bombs for that but that's a that's a start that i am liking this is a start that i can really start to get behind yeah, losing all those bombs was certainly not great, but this gives us something to go on. That enemy shoots? I've never witnessed that before. Good for you, I guess. It's a little, little Jimmy. Okay, no thank you with the head throws, please. Okay. 
Oh, God damn. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know what to say. Like, considering I recorded yesterday's episode today as well, it's been a hell of a day for Isaac. I just need a win just to, to bring... Didn't know that enemy worked like that. Just need a win to bring my sanity back. Because I'm just getting hit just an insane amount right now. And I realize I've been talking about how bad I am at the game for a while now. And you're probably all getting a little bit bored and sick of it. But look! Just... Just... Oh my god. I think Go On Holiday just removed like a solid 50 IQ. What Whatever happened out there. It, it did something bad to my brain. Because I just can't, can't play this game. It's, it's just, it's crazy how much a week off of a game that you play every day, like, does to you. In terms of your skill level and your thought process, like, behind it. It might be also just because I'm, like, not used to commentating because I haven't done it for a week. So I'm, like... A little bit off the game there, so I'm focusing more on commentary and less on the gameplay. But even now when I'm actively thinking about being better at the game, I'm still trash. And it's uh it's getting a little embarrassing. But at least, if anything, this will humanize me. People won't think I'm some sort of Isaac God, which I don't think anyone does anyways, but I'll just put that to bed in case anyone was thinking that. <sighs> right, we continue on. Health is looking good. Health is looking good. That's a first for a while. I promise you. I want to destroy the little... Ah! I didn't see that shot coming at all. I just tried to... <coughs> Did I just get telefragged? Did I just get telefragged by some second wave spawning worms? I didn't even know they were going to be here. I thought the room was over. And said wormy boy pops up out the ground and annihilates me. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> what is a guy to do? Give me that key. Ooh, goddamn. Goddamn. We can, we can make this work. Somehow. Somewhere. Don't you dare. I, you, I know that you shoot now, even though for some reason I didn't before, which I probably did, but I just forgot. I will not have any of your antics. Don't know what that is. I'm just going to take it. Londa, hello. It's back. The hemorrhaging shot has returned. I actually quite like that, so I'm pretty happy. I see you shooting at me. I do not agree. There's a key, thank you. Right. Don't really care about any of this. You guys are aimlessly walking around. That's kind of good. There's a soul heart to protect our devil slash angel deal. A jumpy boy, which hit me in a way that I don't particularly agree with, but I'll accept because I kind of have to. He kind of like hit me as I walked past him. Okay, these guys are shooting on the diagonals again. They take three hits to go down as well, which I wasn't expecting. Oh, we got the worst boss as well. Hell yes. The worst boss in the world. Luckily, one half is down, which makes this boss infinitely easier. Shit oh, shits at such high speed. But we didn't get hit against him, which is honestly kind of a miracle. I don't know what this is. I'm just going to take it. Penny roll. It gave me some good stuff. And it also gave me molten penny. Chance to smelt the current trinket. Oh, damn. That's really good. I guess we're going to go find our shop this floor as well, then. Got dibbity damn. Okay, go find our shop.
What you got for me? Do not know. I'm gonna take it. It's restock. Which isn't particularly good for us right now. But all we need to do is find a soul heart while we have a decent amount of money. And that will put me in a pretty good spot. Right, let's get the hell out of here. It's, um... It's now the third time this episode we've reached this floor, I think. I can't remember, honestly. It all, all the episodes are blending into one at this point. Okay, this is a little bit of a tricky room. Everything's very, very sporadic in its movement. Soy milk. I will 100% take soy milk because it's a bad idea. And I feel like right now, I need to take some bad ideas to offset me being bad. It's like double jeopardy. Double jeopardy. One one bad plus another bad makes a good, right? Also, lawn darts. Just, for one, are pretty useful with this, but also sound amazing with this. What even hit me then? Boy, he didn't even... Mm, wasn't even looking the way that he fired. Friends till the end. Friends till the end. So many lawn darts. Don't heal yourself, Booba. The virus, I think we re-roll. And hell yes, I'll take $3 bill with this setup. I did lose all my bombs, which is somewhat problematic, but... I feel like $3 bill just has the potential to be so good. Tear effects plus soy milk equal good. Just also it just equals fun. Oh my god, parasitoid tea is going crazy. <laughs> Hemorrhaging shots are just insane right now. It's kind of funny. Also, we have a little bit of luck, which is never a bad thing with tier effects. Although, I don't know how that works with $3 bill, I'll be honest. Some explosivo in there. Okay. Throw bomb. Ooh, holy light. Hello. These enemies are one ones that don't pathfind towards you are sometimes some of the hardest ones. They just kind of do their own thing and they're really hard to find and actually aim at. What's left over here? Okay. Back we go. I'm, I'm sure this, this run will come to a grinding halt as well, but for now I have a, a mediocre level of hopefulness. A probably naive level of hurtfulness. I got hit again there somehow. Don't hit me. Oh, we got Wish Shot. No. I always forget that there's some tier effects within the $3 bill selection that can actually kind of screw you. Not a ton, but there's just a few in there that, that can be a little jank. Well, thank you. Shielded Tears doesn't really do much on against these enemies, but I'll take it. Good. Check out our shop real quick. School bag? Um. No. Stopwatch. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I don't think any of this is really worthwhile there. Yeah, the stopwatch does help quite a lot. Speed boost is great. Obviously, slowing down the enemies is even better. Trying to think of what tier effect would be good with this. Maybe a, a um, like a thingy shot, bugger shot. That's what it's called. Couldn't remember the name of it then. Soul heart. That's very very nice. We'll check what this planetarium is, but I don't know if I'll take it. Terror is one that I will definitely take. Variable damage is good. Um, the, the being able to destroy rocks is better. Ooh. The damage we're doing to this guy right now is not very good. But there's some explosivos on him there, which I wasn't expecting to get. 
Ow. Okay, the, the radius on that is a little larger than I expected. Yeah, we're not doing great damage to this guy, I'll be honest. Oh, God. Some of these attacks are not as I remember them. Oh, Lord. Okay, we got a lot of Bugatiers stuck to him there. Oh, God. We took a lot of damage here. But, in the end, it did kind of work out. That is a very, 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 very good um, trinket. It doesn't work when smelted, so there's no point trying to smelt it. Okay. Just trying to get rid of the spider creators first. Hoping for $3 bill to essentially pop off and do something good for us here before I take an insane amount of damage, which is certainly plausible. I think we've got my reflection right now. That's good. Nice. Okay. Let's keep her going here. This has become an interesting run. It's still a bit weird, still a bit wacky, but we'll keep it going. Um, One moment. Okay, I am back. I apologize. I ended up taking a phone call between when we're, when I last was playing this and now. So, of course, I come back and immediately take damage. That's uh, always good. We'll see if we can actually manage to stay alive. But it's nice that we don't need bombs anymore. I, I didn't even really think about that. Also, I just... Uh, thank God I got a key there. <laughs> I was going to say, I did not mean to use that key. Uh, right. Let's check this out. Jello or Gello, whatever you want to call it, is actually out. Pretty heckin' bit. All of these had to blow up, did they? Um, pretty heckin' good. Pretty heckin' good, but... It's an active, and I don't know. We won't get a ton of use out of it, so I'm gonna try reroll it. Spawn five random monsters. Ooh, do I want to die? This has killed me so many times before. Yes, I do. Okay, this wasn't so bad at all. That wasn't so bad at all. But yeah, I love this dog head thing. You can hold it above and it freezes everything. It's really, really useful, especially for low DPS builds, I think. I'd like to get a few more keys and go into the tainted treasure room there. Uh, I think it'd be tainted soy milk. And tainted soy milk is one that I haven't had before, so I'd be willing to try out. I think it could be interesting. I think, from what I remember, what it does is it makes it so that you... um so useful. It makes it so that you... Did you just... You just picked up that burn heart, didn't you? you little tyke. I'm pretty sure it makes it so that, um... You fire tears in all directions, which sounds pretty interesting for us. This guy is not dying. He is in mega rage mode. Oh my goodness. What is going on? He took a burn heart and he was just invincible. <laughs> Honestly, what is this? That guy was hearty as shit. What the hell? Bouncy shot sounds like it could be fun. It's not all that many of them that are bouncy. Is this is this extra vessel thing working? Okay, it is. No, I'll, I'll keep the extra vessel because it is pretty damn useful. A Tammy's head explosion there. Oh god, you got me one of those. I respect you for that, sir. We're getting a bunch of fiend hearts going about. Wait, what? Did the did the thing apply the fire mind effect then? What the hell was going on there? It seemed to be. Okay, these all use different items this time, which is weird. They normally all use the same one. Interesting that it can use the items that you gain from That's pretty cool. I like that. God damn. Terror is wrecking it up. We've also got the spin down Azure to spin down a trinket, if we'd like. Yeah, just get a bit of Freezy on there. I like it. It's pretty useful. We got a red room back over here? Why? Oh, that's a tinted treasure room. Okay. I think the tinted treasure room has bugged out on the, um, 
on the old minimap thing. I'm gonna see if going into it actually produces a red room or a tainted treasure room. I have a feeling it's gonna produce a red room because it's bugged. It didn't. And it did give me soil milk. Each time you fire, you fire seven additional soil milk tears in a circle around you. Ooh, okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So now we've gone back to having normal tears, but we also get the benefit of having soy milk tears as well, which I think is pretty interesting. This does make this more appetizing to me now, though. I like the idea behind this. I think this could work out for us pretty nicely. First time getting that as well, which I'm, I'm grateful for. But yeah, it just means more enemies are going to get hit. More enemies are going to get um, bled and all that. And it also gives us a default damage back, which honestly is pretty deep, like pretty high for where we are. Um, I'll leave that for now. Book of Jubilees is just straight up incredible. Okay, yeah, we'll fight you. I like the deep throws. Goddamn, some of these rocks are huge. Yeah, no thanks from you. I keep forgetting we have um, Hourglass as well. Not Hourglass, Stopwatch. So the game's slowed down lows, and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? But this was purely for the uh, the extract rerolls here. That's not what I meant to do. There you go. Spawn a hanger for Revelation. I think that's pretty worthwhile, don't you? We get Flight and we get the Revelation Beam as well, which is uh, a bit wacky right now. Anyways, we'll be taking this, I think, because the tears up is pretty decent. And away we go. Okay, this run is definitely going better. This run is definitely going better. Whoa, that's a lot of that's a lot of detritus there. One thing that is slightly sort of weird is that um I keep I keep like getting enemies that I, I can't find or see. Because we have um, this hemorrhaging effect, where in some rooms, enemies proper blend in. They make it look they're already dead. Anyways, let's let's keep her going. One good thing as well about this room, which I didn't even consider, I always forget this was Terra, is Terra just lets you skip rooms if you want. If we see a room like this that doesn't look too appealing, we could just be like, nah, I'm out. I really like that ability with this item. It's super useful. The little heart there is rather nice. Secret room has been found. Just a bunch of bombs that are useless to us. Sad times. You watch our item room. It's going to be all the way back over there. Yep. Had a feeling. Right. We'll skip back a Book of Jubilees proccing already. Giving us... A mighty amount of money. Yeah, Book of Jubilees is just incredible. Right. Yeah. This room is a room that's a Nurga. This one's also just a freebie. Nurga. Yeah, just it means we can check the dead ends and stuff here pretty quick. Okay, there you go. We found the room that we wanted to find. I think we can use extracts on this. I don't think 120 volts super good for us. Neither is that. Freezer baby is pretty decent. Oh shit! It meant the boss. It meant the boss. When it said seven chub, I thought it meant like the little chubs. I didn't think it meant the fucking boss. Although a few of them seem to be just heads. Which is kind of nice, because they are um, incapable of dealing damage. Well, no, they can deal contact damage, but they can't actually run at you. And also, this is a two-segment chub. Okay, that, that, that kind of worked out. That, that looked like a very scary proposition there, but it worked out just fine. And here we got Abandoned Box. Spawns a random familiar from the current room's item pool. Kind of an interesting idea. I think I'll take that. Oh. Doesn't do what I thought it did. I'll take that. But that's not what I was assuming it did at all. I thought it would spawn 
a familiar from the room's item pool for the room, which now that I think about it makes zero sense, but just, just, shush. Oof. That does sound tantalizing. Do you know what? Considering I can just bail, I can't just bail. I can't just bail. It's a shop, you idiot. I can't just bail. Why am I so infinitely dumb? Why is my brain so small? Okay, that wasn't so bad. That could have that could have gone a lot a lot worse than it did. Anyways, let's get out of here. Skedaddle skadoodle. I'm gonna be skipping a lot of rooms, I'll be honest. This episode is already long as heck. Um, so I'm gonna be skipping rooms left, right, and center until I get to my items to re-roll them to get wacky stuff going on. All stuff that synergizes with my current setup. I'll be honest. I love this boss. It's one of my favorite Fiend Folio bosses. It's just a shame when you kill him so fast you don't get to see some of his cool phases that he has. But he has a cool boss, definitely. And his death animation is very good. Little Brimstone from Chaos, I'll take it. Also, Chaos plus Extract is going to be kind of interesting. I feel like them two are going to go together very nicely. Certain rooms like this that are a piece of piss for us to clear, I'm just going to clear. But rooms like... Actually, this one's pretty easy too. It's just whenever I see a, a fairly hard room, which can, or a room that, that's tedious, I'm just going to be like, nah, I'm out. That room, easy enough. This room we have to do, so tough stuff. We got Spider Bite from it, though. That's so good. Another tier effect that I like to see. This is a room that is like, nah, <laughs> no thanks. I like the fact that because we have the soy milk thing going on, the, the door that we walk through, we automatically break. Compound fractures doing some horrible things to our frame right here. The shop, I'd be very interested in seeing what it has to offer. We don't have any keys, damn it. I will check this for keys. We got a soul out of it. We also got the meteorite, which I'm not particularly interested in, but nice to see. But we've yet to see our item room here, so we've got to go back for that. Okay. Away we go. Sadly, we can't break into our shop. That would be pretty good, but probably a little bit too powerful. Oh, there's a golden key back in that other room there. That's good. And there's some free chests here because we got flight. I like the green champion green brain. There's another green champion green brain there as well. What the hell? Oh my god, being able to freeze everything like this is great. No explosions. I don't have a key! Why am I so dumb and slow and stupid? Oh my god. This, this room just needs to be over. I'm going to keep walking into that thing over and over again, aren't I? And that's the key we needed anyways. Thank you. Glad I cleared it. Good, good, good. Pretty good, but I'm going to re-roll it for Book of Virtues. We lose some money, but Book of Virtues is pretty good. Synergizes pretty well with other stuff too. Why is that Dominic there every time? That just annoys me. Right. Let's get out of here. No, no point going to our shop now either, which is kind of nice. Okay. 
Not that we need the golden key, but I'll take it. Okay, damage wise, we're doing good. We got multiple beams going out. We got all the hemorrhaging going on, which I'm not really sure how much damage that outputs, but seems like it's doing a lot either way. We finally made it to the womb as this character, which is kind of baffling that it took this long. But we did it. Ow, I got hit immediately if I'm walking to this room. The womb is really where the, um, the sense of skipping rooms is going to come into play because there's just very little rooms we need to be passing through here. I'm sure to be careful I don't do what I did there and like walk into the center of the room and hurt myself in confusion. What even hit me then? I think a polyp got destroyed by my terror attack. I'm somehow taking more damage doing this than I would be just completing the rooms. Suffering from success. Might be because I'm firing too much. Just fire where I need to fire and that's it. Oh god. I might just die anyways from being too reckless. It's constantly my issue. How are you still alive? Wow. Like such low health. Oh no. Oh no. I hate this boss with a burning passion. This attack specifically. What the hell is this? Stop. Scapula gets extracted into the halo, which I'll take. And then here we've got Ram's head, which is, of course, real good. Um, and we've also got the angelic lyre. Can be used to change into unique tier mode and reset tier delay. Strange. I think I'll take the ram's head, thank you. And I think I'm going to destroy you to get a better item out of this. Which might not be an angel item, but it'll be an item nonetheless. Beam versus beam, I see. Okay, good. Oh, we got the axe. Yes. I like the axe. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we basically completed zero rooms that entire floor, apart from the only one we actually needed to. I love it. Right. Okay, we do the same again. Just be speedy about it. The axe is going on its own, which is kind of nice. It's doing its own thing. I was hoping we'd pick the right way then. Not always so simple. Not always so simple. Of course, I walk directly into them. I can't do anything right. Big wrong way that time around. I'm going to take every which wrong way we can, can't aren't I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Damn, it spent a bunch of health going the wrong way. Not a good feeling. Okay, we're finally where we need to be. Everything is dead. Ooh, golden heart there as well. Why not? Okay, the axes are going to do a good job here. Try and not get hit by the laser eyes, please. It's so lucky the laser eyes, like, start off aiming the wrong way. If they actually aimed the right way when they spawned in, I'd always take damage to them. I'm really not sure if that's on purpose or just a happy accident in terms of development. Anyways, the heart goes down. And we go up. Okay, we can, we can zoom through on the cathedral, but the other floors, we're not going to be so lucky. Oh, we get to listen to the banger music. It's been so long since I've listened to the banger music. It really has. First wrong way. Love it. Listen to this in my sleep. 
multiple wrong ways so far. Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this? My navigating skills have failed me once again. Oh, there you go. Okay. We found it pretty fast after, so no worries. No harm done. Okay, got some extra health as well. I like that. Don't really know how this is going to go. So far, not great, considering I got hit immediately. It's kind of hard to see all the incoming shots, to be honest. Certainly an element to this of uh, un instability, considering all the crap that's on screen. It's all slowing down for some reason. Oh, he spawned in the corner I was just in. Cheeky. What? Where are the razor blades coming from? Or is that a um, $3 bill that's doing that? It might well be, but I didn't know it was a $3 bill effect. There you go. He's down. Okay, we can no longer shoot through the rooms, but we are on the right track. We don't have the keys for this, unfortunately. We, in fact, only have one. Uh, I'm going to extract that. Star of Bethlehem, spawn and nerve ending. That's a pretty good um, pretty good gambit there, I'd say. So, we at least notice this way. I think we should honestly just stick with our star. It's going to give us so many benefits. So far, nothing, considering all the enemies are really far away, but... Hey, her. Oh, we got Herming there. Perfect timing. And continue as well. That's pretty good. Oh god! You got very close to me there, sir. Very, very close. That's pretty decent. We get a tiny, tiny hitbox. You can go down next, right? Down. Yes! A navigator. Correct again. Oh shit, I did not see a monster in midair there. Welcome to the party, pal. We'll check this out real quick whilst our Bethlehem's doing its thing. Veil of Darkness is pretty good. And we got more of the void out of it too. Even better. Here. Okay, let's let's blaze ahead a little bit. I'm re I immediately regretted saying let's blaze ahead a little bit, considering I was completely wrong about which way we should go. What the hell's firing at me right now? Oh, hello. I didn't realize there was one of the black goblin things alive. Star of Bethlehem still chug chug chugging along. Thank you, Book of Jubilees. You're very, very nice to me. And here's our boss fight here. We also found our secret room. <laughs> oh my god, they're hemorrhaging. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't even get in there. Oh wait, no, it's already open. Strength card will make this go a little bit faster, I think. Um, should we wait for Star? Yes, we should. I was like, it's, it's got to be kind of close, right? I wish BFF made this thing speed up a little bit. Actually clear rooms at the pace that you'd be able to clear rooms if it was, if it was going fast. This is going to be Annihilation. There you go. And that's a one run. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Finally, finally back on the horse. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.